So here it is, the Pearl Compact Traveler. This is how it comes in the boxes. So this is the 18 inch kick drum and 10 inch snare with the adapters to mount together. And then there's actually a travel bag that can go together with that. So two boxes here. So uh, we'll get this put together and let you see what it sounds like with the Pearl Compact Traveler. So here it is all set up and ready to go. So you can see the bag sitting there next to it. It is an 18 inch kick drum with a 10 inch snare drum. On the snare drum underneath, it's got the half wire snare. The Pearl does a good job in their shipping wise because they actually put some cardboard over those wires so they take the extra effort to make sure those are packed well. Everything's bubble wrapped, uh, came out nice and neat. Uh, they do a good job also with the extra supports. If I show you here, on the joints right here, you've got a wing nut, but then they also put in the snare head tension screw there. So that way you can go through and tighten that down even extra so it doesn't move. And then on here, I really like how you can go either way with this uh, mount. So if you'd like that L bracket to go up high and you want to stand and play, uh, you can actually do that. You can actually go up and they've readjusted this and put two holes in there and made that so that way you can play. So I like that. Um, the kick pedal does not come with it, but I wanted to show you what the kick pedal does look like with it. The uh, leg supports, they have two legs as you see coming out to support the front side. And then they have the back kick leg, kickstand leg. And as I was training it earlier, it, uh, it doesn't move. This thing doesn't slide. I was worried that it was gonna slide with it being so light. Um, it stays right where it's supposed to be. Okay, so this is the compact traveler now. I got some sticks so you can hear the kick drum now. I am using a Samson 7S phone, so uh, forgive me for using a regular mark phone off the phone, but that's the best we can do at this point. So here it is for the kick drum. As you can see, it's really, really dry. I was really surprised. I thought it'd be really ringy in there. You can tighten and loosen these heads. That's nice is they are not just a one set. So there are uh, tension rods on here that allow you to tighten the, the kick drum and adjust for the snare drum in here. So here's the sound with the snare. So there's a half snare that's going across the bottom of that. I'll show you that after a bit. But uh, that is half snare that's in there, but it still gives you a nice snare tone to it. Again, you can tension this head up or down and get it tight within there. Nice big snappy snare for a little 10 inch. But again, there is a uh, muffle that goes around on the inside or on this side here that allows to dampen that tone of the kick drum. And then with that half snare, really it's not sizzly real long. It is tight. Short snare stem, uh, really good in there. So that kind of gives you an idea what it sounds like with sticks. Now to give you an idea what it'd be like for a jazz kit. So I got a couple brushes, wire brushes to give you a snare sound in there it's a coated head it's not a smooth head so it is coated that comes with it um, so it is really a, a nice aggressive coat in there so when you that's a loud brush out that you're getting out of that pearl head so that gives you an idea what it is as a jazz kit or with brushes so as I said I wanted to have you see the inside of the snare drum and how they're doing that so you can see it's a half snare wire setup it does have an adjustment that you can uh, set up for it for a little less tension or more tension. So if you want to make that a loose snare, you can. Uh, tighten it up to get the snare up tighter to the snare head is good. But it is a very nice coated head that is on there. And each, uh, see, one, two, three, four, five, six tension uh, lugs in there that you can go through and adjust. There's the mount. And as we start, talked about earlier, uh, you can mount that in two different directions. So you can go on here, or you can put it sideways, and then get it up on top. So you can actually stand and play on this. So nice setup that Pearl did for a pretty inexpensive setup for a compact kit. Now without the snare drum on the rod, the L rod is a knurled rod. So that can go on there, and it does leave you some room on there that if you want to mount a cowbell, you can, or a wood block, uh, or a cymbal that can come off of that L rod. Uh, so you can keep this really nice and compact in a neat kit.
So that's the Pearl Compact Traveler. Hope you've enjoyed this explanation of the kit and uh, check them out from Pearl and at MidwestMusicCenter.net.